Tony Tone Show on Vintage Sound 93.1 FM from the Unity Point Health Studios. One of our favorites is on the MPW Digital TV Celebrity Hotline right now. He's here to talk about Children's Hospital, which airs at 10 o'clock Central Friday nights on Adult Swim, and a brand new version of one of his kids' books. Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Winkler. Henry! Tony! It's good to have you back on the show, buddy. How are you? I am unbelievably good. <laughs> and you? Oh, Henry, I'm fantastic. It's uh, it's uh, winter in Iowa, but we have 60 degree weather on Friday, so I'm I'm ecstatic. Holy mackerel! Right? Yeah, I'm really yeah, good. This this weather pattern this year is like insane, isn't it? It's just been yeah, truly. We've had like the most mild winter. You can't complain, but yet. My kids are having cabin fever because all they want to do is go to the park. I have a three-and-a-half-year-old whose name is Henry and then a 14-month-old named Theodore, and they're just ready to go wow. play. But isn't that fantastic? You're at the beginning of this incredible journey of being parent. Yeah. It's and, amazing. Then it just, it just touches your heart. You walk in the door, the, something happens, and it just melts away the rest of the day. It really does. And I, you know, for me, Henry, it's been such an interesting journey because, you know, you observe your friends that have kids and family members, but then it's totally different when they're your own kids. It's totally different. And nobody can prepare you for when, you know, the toughest thing for me is when my kids get sick. I can't, I don't know how to deal with it. Right, right, right. You know, it, it, uh, the, there is nobody knows how to deal with it. You just make them as comfortable as they can. They get a high fever. You give them a, a tepid bath. You bring it down a little bit, you know, and then you hope for the best. Right. And they ride it out, and they get high fevers, and you think, oh, my God, this is the highest fever I've ever seen in my whole life, but it's normal. And then, uh, and then my 14-month-old pukes on the couch the other day. I'm, I don't know how you prepare I, for and, that. <laughs> you know, mine mine always missed the couch and got me. They never actually got the furniture. Oh. They thought I was the armchair. I, Henry, I have such a deep appreciation for my grandma that had the plastic covering on the couch. I totally get it now. You know what I mean? Yes, except in the heat of the summer <laughs> when you're wearing shorts and you leave skin behind. You know? Oh my gosh, it's but, so true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what we do on Children's Hospital. You do. You uh, you leave a lot of skin you, behind. Leave skin behind. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Henry. I had the pleasure of talking to Rob Corddry uh, like a month ago, and yeah. I, and I he's told our leader. Oh, he's the best. And I told Rob, I love the show. My wife really doesn't get it, but it's it's fabulous. It's on Adult Swim, ten o'clock Friday night Central Time for us. How much fun did you have with this thing? Because it's a blast, isn't it? You know, Rob called me years ago, now uh, eight years ago. Wow. I, I never met him. Uh, I didn't know what the show was. It was a web series at that time. Mm -hmm. He said, would you like to join us in the cast? And you know how you can just feel somebody's energy? You just smell that they're right? Yep. I didn't, without looking at a script, I said yes. And I have been part of this extraordinarily funny cast for eight years. We, uh, Rob has won two Emmys, uh, never even lets me touch them. <laughs> and, uh, it, it, I, and let me just tell you something. I'm with your wife. I'm on the set. I'm with these incredible people. I have the best time, and I understand not one joke. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, and that's, you know... I uh, I told Rob, I said that, you know, I, I kind of have the same sense of humor as, like, Rob and, and a lot of my friends, and, and uh, my wife has a great sense of humor, but I think there's just some shows, people, some people get it, and some people are like, I don't know why this is so yeah, great. But it's 11 minutes, right. so, it, you know, it can only add to your life right. if you tune in. <laughs> uh, you know, really. Yeah, no, it's only going to make your life better. It's going to make it more joyous. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like a Celebrex. Right. <laughs> it just relaxes all your muscles. It's exactly like that. Um, we also got to talk about the paperback version of perhaps the greatest title for a book ever, You Can't Drink a Meatball Through a Straw. Here's Hank. Now, Henry. Oh, I my gosh. 
I'm Italian love it. and I love meatballs. I have never tried yeah. to drink a meatball through a straw, but I would. Well, you know what? Hank is me, right? Now, yeah. these books are for second graders. Right. And also, let me, I'm very proud of this. We use a print style that has never been used in America before that literally was created by a dad for his kids in Holland. And it makes the eye easier to track the, the words across the page. Wow. Um, when children are just learning to read. That's fantastic. And Hank Zipser, we've written for 10 years. Uh, there are 32 novels. Uh, they are funny. They're comedies. But these are second graders. Mm-hmm. And he's resourceful. <laughs> Hank is resourceful. He's in a cooking contest. And he doesn't know what to do. So he takes his entire lunch. He pours it into a blender. <laughs> And I cannot tell you what's going to happen because you have to read it. Right, exactly. You can't. We can't give away the whole book, right? No. Oh my. I mean, goodness. we're talking about a banana, a cookie, a <laughs> peanut butter and jelly on on Wonder Bread, and um, some chocolate milk. Oh, I love it, um, Henry. I had uh, a couple questions from some fans. Can I ask these to you? Oh my gosh, absolutely! I'd love that. Okay, so Brian on Facebook says. What was it like being a star in the 70s and playing the iconic Fonz character? Okay, so the quick answer is I was living my dream. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be an actor since I was seven. I was earning a paycheck. I was um, providing for my family. And having there, I understood the jokes. Right. (laughs) And I got to create this incredible character that was so much fun to play. Mm-hmm. I'm. Uh, this is pretty cool, Henry. So I have an opportunity on March third. I'm gonna. Yeah. They're, they're letting me go see Bruce Springsteen, and I get to meet Stephen Van Zant in Milwaukee. And my, my best friend just moved there, and I told my best friend because I'm gonna spend the night after the show. I said on Friday, March fourth, I want to go see the Fonz statue, which of course is in Milwaukee, right? It is. I just took a picture with it. Did you really? (laughs) My wife and I were there in Milwaukee. I was speaking, uh, public speaking, and I had uh, we went to the statue and and uh, at about eleven o'clock at night and took a picture with it. So was it? Was there anybody around, or was that like the best? Yes, and the greatest thing. Yeah. And I'm so sorry I won't be there for when you're there. <laughs> but the greatest thing is when people are taking pictures, say, excuse me, do you want me to just hear you stand by the statue? I'll take your picture. <laughs> then they look at me and they look at the statue and they faint. That is amazing. <laughs> I, I, it's, I, a wonderful, I, it's a wonderful moment. I love that. Well, I think that's just great. Um, I had another question that came in off of our text line. Uh, Jerry just kind of had a comment uh, about... How they, he and his friends kind of miss shows like Happy Days. Now, I would say that there's been uh, a rise in the sitcom over the past few years and kind of like mm-hmm. some good feel-good programming. Do you get that sense yeah. how, that there's, there's shows like that? You know what? I, you know what? Fr- the show is really funny, I think, because um, I love watching TV. Mm-hmm. I love it. Um, I like Banshee and Billions yep. and The Good Wife. And there is a show, Blackish, yes, uh, which I think is crosses all color lines and is just funny. It's just a, a funny family of people. Anthony Anderson is unbelievable. I love that guy. Yeah, he He's really so is. Great. His wife is unbelievable. Right. I think she's Diana Ross's daughter. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Isn't that, that's crazy. The kids are funny. Oh, yeah, they're so good. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, listen, we have uh, like less than 60 seconds. I want to remind folks Children's Hospital is Friday night, 10 o'clock Central on Adult Swim. The paperback version of You Can't Drink a Meatball Through a Straw. Here's Hank, available March 8th. And Henry, since this is the second time I've talked to you, I, I have to ask if it's possible. Yes. For my son, Henry, who turns four in March, could you sign a book for him as a birthday present? If you get me his name, address, and zip code, I will send him the and and here's what you do with him when you get the book. Mm-hmm. You look up elephants playing soccer because that's what Hank does in the book. He plays soccer with this fifteen thousand pound elephant, and you will see they are 
brilliant at it. I love it. I will absolutely send that over, and I just want to say thanks again, Henry Winkler. You're one of the best guests that we've had on the show, and uh, and have a great rest of your Thank day. Thank you. What a nice thing. Yeah, and I'll have Would to send... you se- give Henry a hug for me? I will, and I'll send you a copy of the selfie that I take with your statue in Milwaukee, which is a weird thing to say. Oh, to say. I want that. I want that bad. <laughs> All right, buddy. We'll talk soon, okay? I look forward to it. Be well. Goodbye.